Our guest today is a YouTuber and she is a Sky sister. Now, for those of you who've been following, we've been talking about Sky Girls a lot. Yesterday, we had one of the Sky Girls here, and today we have a Sky sister. I'm talking about none other than Elodie Zone. Woo. Yes, Woo. welcome. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, yes, that's oh, nice. We are so excited to have you. Yeah, I'm like, I'm happy to meet you in person. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's always, you know, I think most of the time on we social always media. know each other from social media, yes. but not in person. Yeah. yeah, it's super exciting to have you in, in studio today yeah man nice Thank to you. officially yeah. meet you yeah all just right to start so, off yes. you know just tell us no tell us and tell the fans who maybe don't know <laughs> you <laughs> who's Elodie so a lot of people actually call me like an influencer slash content creator right. but I really dive a lot deeper into that mm -hmm. I'm actually a digital marketing specialist oh, nice. mental health advocate mm -hmm. and of course business owner online right. um, though content creator sounds fun so uh, I, can, I, can, I can dig content I can dig creator. that I'm a content That's creator. Fair. <laughs> So digital um, marketing, is this something you studied mm -hmm. for? Or? No, yeah. it's actually self-taught. Okay. I feel like our generation, University of YouTube. Yeah, is, is you place know. To be, you University know? of okay. YouTube. Yeah. For real, I mean. so wait, but you were in campus before, right? So mm -hmm. interestingly enough, uh -huh. I did drop out of two universities. And what? I've openly wow. talked about that. Yes, yeah, tell us just, about it. I'm like, yo. Yeah, so it is not for you? Two unis. It no. just didn't work for me. Yeah. Okay. But I'm someone that constantly studies every day, which sounds reading. a bit boring. Yeah, it's not boring. I get it. Like, for most people, school is like, oh, my God. But to give them like something to learn, uh, like a functional skill, mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah. They will dive in. Yeah, they will completely. dive in completely. Okay, yeah. so digital marketing and um, mental health advocate. Mental health advocate. How For did sure. that begin? And like, why did you feel like you need to talk to people about it? Yeah, so I've been very open about this online. Mm -hmm. I did uh, struggle with depression. Yeah. It is something that I still struggle with quite a bit, especially yeah. in this day and age of social media. Yeah. Y'all yeah. can relate. Yeah, KOT. man, KOT. KOT. I'm scared. I'm scared. What? Yeah. Um, and so I just felt like not enough people were talking about mm -hmm. it. And so I started a series on my Instagram called Mental Mondays, yeah. where we dive into mental health, mm -hmm. mental well-being, we do journaling, do various prompts and whatnot, mm -hmm. and it's just sort of grown from there. So oh, hopefully wow. we'll be able to expand yeah, and sure. maybe be able to open up something where we can help. Yeah. So have you had people like it. personally like reach out to you like after one Definitely. of your, your, like, your mental... So how Definitely. do you deal with like all of that? You're like, guys, I can't help all of you. I'm just trying to, you know, how yeah. do you deal with that? It's definitely tricks because yeah. some people are actually going through a lot of mental disorders yeah. mm -hmm. where they need professional counseling yes. and professional help. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I thank God for the opportunity because I'm actually connected to quite a lot of counselors, uh -huh. psychiatrists. Uh -huh. And so I use my platform because obviously the audience is more comfortable opening up to me. Yes. I'll use my platform, yes. let them kind of open up mm -hmm. and then I'll connect them to a specialist if need be. Mm -hmm. And if they just need support in a conversation, mm -hmm. I'm always there. You know? oh, wow, I would just nice. ask this. Mm -hmm. huh? You know, um, there is you, there is who you are and yeah. where you're from. Mm -hmm. And of course we have this, you know, some young people think, you know, uh, people like you, mm -hmm. you shouldn't be having problem with your mental health. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Oh. What are you depressed about? Yeah, and it has like, come are you serious? Up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So how yes. um that situation, am are you being put in that kind of a situation or that state yeah. where people are judging you like why are you why are you, you shouldn't have problems? Yeah. Exactly. Why are you having okay. problems? Sure. You get sure. like seriously, why are you well, you get how have yeah. you been able to you know, handle that and deal with that? I think, let me mm. break it down into two. Mm. Number one, whether it is your race, where you're from, mm -hmm. your bank account, mm -hmm. your parents, your family, like everybody in the world has a problem, yes. full stop. That's true. But then the second part would definitely be where you put your focus is where you will grow. Yes. So when people are making those comments, I'd mm -hmm. rather focus on those that may need my help yes. or need professional help mm -hmm. and just tackle that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's it, you know? Yeah, even yeah. billionaires have like problems, you know everybody. what I mean? Different <laughs> problems, but still problems. Different Different levels, yeah. different problems. Yeah. So, like, let me just ask, what are some of the things you did, you know, to get yourself, you know, out of that state? Mm -hmm. Or like you say, you know, you still struggle with um, depression occasionally mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. that. Yeah. What do you do to pull yourself back and I get do. your... I wish I could give you guys like a juicy answer. Yeah. Like, like go on a vacation or yeah. party. Oh, no. I wish. <laughs> but but I yeah. do the stuff that not a lot of people think to do. Mm -hmm. So basic things that you've been taught from when you were a child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm journaling getting enough sleep mm -hmm. um eating properly mm -hmm. doing your best to work out those bare basics mm -hmm. yeah they help a lot help. definitely yeah oh, definitely. For sure. all right so let's talk a, a bit about um your youtube because honestly that's like the first place i saw you <laughs> i was yeah. like okay this girl has something Ew. so what made you decide to start <laughs> youtube and like yeah. is it, did you take a break because of all the other things you're doing or are you coming back so youtube actually started again tied mm -hmm. to this whole mental health mm -hmm. situation mm -hmm. didn't have friends in yeah. school yeah. i was that like complete loser nobody would talk to yeah, you yeah. Really yeah. imagine I know you're so bubbly. I no. Nobody vibed with me like no. at all in high school. Get out. Well, like, Which high school? school? I was in like almost nine, eight what? to nine high school. Eight to nine. Wait, I'm like, why? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eight to nine, nine, two, 
campus like you did hop, like skipping and jumping between okay, year groups what happened? halfway through a lot of the bullying it got really, oh, really get bad get out really yeah, that's actually no. how my journey started yeah Oh yeah. my goodness! Okay, wow. so so you started it now to help you deal with like you know because I had nothing friends. else to do. Yeah, you guys are going for parties or yeah. birthdays. I'm just there mm -hmm. what? at home, so I'm like I might as well edit a video, oh edit God. a picture. And I remember my first video was things to do in the summer. Yeah, because yeah. my whole summer vacation I was just at home doing nothing. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. And then I remember one person I reached like ten views, mm -hmm. and someone comments on my Instagram I'm like, "Oh, you're the girl from YouTube." I'm like, "I've made yes! it." Yes, I'm famous. I'm famous. They know I'm famous. you. Yes. Oh my, I'm like so you know. Um, mm -hmm. You getting into you know getting to that space where you're doing YouTube mm. and all that. Yeah. I feel like people have assumptions about you. What mm. are some of the assumptions which you've actually you know Ooh. you're like oh I know people think about that like when they see me they think because you know like you telling us you are being bullied. So yeah. I would never have guessed. You're too loud to be bullied. Yeah. Yeah. Get yeah. out. Biggest assumption yeah. honestly. Or misconceptions oh, people have about you. I feel like it's stuff that mm -hmm. even you two as creatives and mm -hmm. as entertainers have been through. Yeah. A lot of it ties down to physical appearance. Mm -hmm. A lot of it ties down to your accent mm -hmm. you know when you open your mouth that's yeah. what you, that's when you tell the world who you are mm -hmm. um and then a lot of them have been assumptions about my family which to this day no one has gotten right oh wow which is <laughs> so crazy. they keep, get, they keep uh -huh. guessing yeah who is your mother who is your father who is your father who is Where your father <laughs> Um, okay. No one's gotten it right, oh, uh -huh. so, but I, I like the hype, the conversation. You know, so, they, uh -huh. they, 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 you know, at least it, they're still talking about you. You know, we move. You know, we, we move regardless. regardless. I'm telling you, but I love your you know, attitude. You do, you do. You are a radio host um, at, in USIU. Are yeah. you still there? So I was in USIU. Then of course I did USIU my whole dropping out. Radio. Oh, it was yeah. also part of that phase. Yo, yeah. we can't keep up. <laughs> There's too much going on. I feel I'm like. like yeah. I just feel like your generation is like so free to do like a lot of things. There is I can imagine if you were like to jump from one university to another. Our parents would not let us. What? Even let me change my course, man. <laughs> wow. I feel like the, the mm. being involved in social media and being mm -hmm. able to sort of grow my following online uh -huh. allowed for my family to be a little more liberal and mm -hmm. a little more relaxed. Yeah. And so I always tell people like, if you feel like you want to change jobs or change schools mm -hmm. or drop out or yeah. start a business, yeah. have a plan that will actually work. Don't yeah. wake up and say, ah, I'm, I'm starting a business. School, yeah. I'm starting yeah. a business. <laughs> plan yourself. Yeah. And then also ensure if you're maybe younger and you mm -hmm. have parents that may be concerned, yeah. show them a detailed plan. Yeah. Talk At least they'll be like, okay, time. she's serious. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's true. So just and what that. about your, you said you're now a business owner? Mm -hmm. What's your business and what do mm -hmm. you sell? So I'm actually an investor. Mm -hmm. So I began tapping into the stock market a lot. Mm -hmm. And then I began supporting a lot of local businesses here. Started oh, nice. by young people. Yeah. Like in their mid twenties, uh -huh. trying to hustle, uh -huh. selling various things from things you can buy for your house, uh -huh. um, selling plants and whatnot. If you want to kind of landscape your yeah. garden, selling shoes, mm -hmm. various different things. Mm -hmm. And so basically how I come on board and really help them is by marketing their brands online. Oh, nice. okay. And then also now investing money if there's that gap that they need. Uh -huh. And then we sort of just do business, learn together. Wow. I teach them about the online space. Uh -huh. And we just keep it fun, lighthearted. What? Yeah. So you keep it okay, fun and lighthearted like when you're fun. being a business owner. And, you know. I know. Oh. <laughs> but I'm like, you know, dealing, you know, dealing with, you know, online businesses and, you know, people, of course, you don't like um, really know. They're mm -hmm. just people you've met online and they're like, you know, this is what I'm doing. Have you ever been conned, you know, and then you put your money somewhere <laughs> and that's where you course. thought it was just, you know, it was a legit <laughs> thing, but unfortunately it wasn't. I remember the first yeah. amount of money I ever lost. I can tell you to this day, it was 11,650 shillings. Oh my shillings. God, Who that's a lot of money. money. What? <laughs> and I took, it took them, I think, almost half a year to pay me back. <gasps> wow. And I remember feeling that burn. Uh, that I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, you can kill someone. But you just feel like you're just burning up, man. Yeah. Like, <sighs> but then again, all successful people have had losses. Of yeah. course. You of just course. need to be it's, zen. It's part of the course. You know? Exactly. You have to go through it. Mm -hmm. And of course, let's talk a little bit about um, Sky Girls. Yes. Um, did Because we had um, Joanne here yesterday and she told us that it really helped her grow into like a more confident person mm -hmm. yeah. who can say no to things. So would you say that it's personally helped you like with your depression? Most definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I think how I've approached Sky Girls is I'm trying to be exactly what I needed mm -hmm. when I was the girl's age, right? Yeah, so I know, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you're looking at girls between the ages of 13 and 17. Mm -hmm. You're going through all these changes. Right there, we were so lost, man, with no guidance. Confused. So lost, yeah. Confused, so whether confused. it's dating or yeah. it's school or yeah. it's parents. Confidence. There's so much confidence, yeah. self-esteem, mm -hmm. you know, body positivity. Yes. And so I try to also give them advice that I would have wanted to hear mm -hmm. without oh. trying to sound like I'm brushing off Yeah, their problems, like you're like talking you know? down to them, like, listen, as someone who's older, you know? Yeah, you 
must them, obey. Like, yeah, you know? <laughs> exactly. Oh wow, that's amazing. Cause yeah. we had one yes yesterday, and I can't I can't say this enough. Like I wish we had Sky Girls when we were younger because yeah, someone yeah. Tell you, between the ages of fifteen and, and seventeen. Oh, yeah. oh my it's god, that was the worst years of my life. Yeah, worst like, years What are some of the things you enjoy? You know, as you know, um, having taken part or being part of the Sky Girls Sky, yeah. movement. For me, it's definitely the the messages and the responses that I get from mm -hmm. various girls, mm -hmm. just reaffirming the mission, reaffirming everything that we're doing and mm -hmm. saying, you have had an impact. Yeah. This is how you impacted me mm -hmm. and I'm ready to, you know, continue oh, my wow. life as a girl transitioning into being a woman. Mm -hmm. Seeing those DMs, I get shivers. I even oh. have shivers now. <laughs> it must be so amazing to be able to impact people's lives. Yeah. Like, it's so beautiful. Yeah. You know, you're going to the grave knowing you did what you could do and you even did if your you best. helped one person. Yeah. 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 Oh my God, that's amazing. All right, guys, yeah. we should have Elodie Zone in the building, but right now we need to go on a short commercial break. We'll be right back. Yes, guys, welcome back. And that was a lot for you. And of course, John, she was here uh, yesterday. Yes, was yesterday. last night. But I'm like, last night, Badoli Kwangafa was 10.30. We'll just have the repeat. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, let me read some um, feedback. Some, some, some feedback yes. on Facebook. I'm seeing Gliana Sema waiting for you. That's on your picture. I'm seeing Gliana Sema. Um, Wait, what are you saying? Um, she's looking gorgeous. I'm seeing first time. Yes, like this. Literally, guys were waiting for you. One boy is like, I can't miss this. She was waiting for you as well. And Joyce Kamopia, she's like, yes, can't wait. I think a lot of people are really um anticipating for you to come on the show yes, and, and get, you know, to get to learn a couple of things about yes. you. Sure. We're about to start grinding her. Huh? Let me let me let me do some feedback for her first before we get into it. I know the question you want me to ask. I see. All right. Um, hi, lovely ladies watching your show. It's always on top. Uh, it's always on top of my, my agenda. I love the energy LOD Zone has. For some reason, I feel uplifted. Thank you. Wow. I see you're already impacting people. Um, say hi to LOD. I just love her. She's got a beautiful voice. I'm um, Nono from Eldoret. And then someone else here is saying, I love LOD. She's got positive vibes. Um, and then someone else here is saying, wow, she's even more beautiful than I thought. Gotea Elodie, me whom follow Facebook, Mwambie, ache number yake ya simu. Let's find out if she can leave her number first. So, yes. Elodie, the question of the day. Oh my. You and Nviri. <coughs> the storyteller. Tell Is us that the your story. Mans? <laughs> I mean, you know, we, we're chilling. <laughs> no, I'm, try, I'm, I'm trying to give you such a like political answer. No, I'm not PC. You don't need to be PC. We don't have any political answer. You know, we want before the, answer. the break, we were saying, yeah, you need to love. You know, love. Yeah, yeah. So and tell be us. Nice. Yeah. And be happy. Exactly. You guys, the way you guys are like, exposing <laughs> yeah. me. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I actually have talked about this uh -huh. online when okay. Obare Mafia came Oh, man, that came sucked. After I'm us. so sorry, man. Oh, that my. sucked. The point that, the fact that people can feel that confidence to actually take videos of you when you're minding your own business. I know. That is disgusting. This was crazy. Yeah. But I feel like it's even weirder because we've known each other for about eight years. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like, this is even before we were, mm -hmm. like, you know, on the come Anybody, up and yeah, grinding, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so it's interesting because a lot of people are even taking pictures from, like, 20, you and know, 19 like, Yeah, look, yeah. they've been dating since. Yeah, they've been in love since 2000. <laughs> they come up with uh -huh. anything. I know. Me, yeah. So it has been a bit intense. Mm. But, um, you know, I think we're, we're a great team. We're supporting mm -hmm. each other a lot business-wise, mm -hmm. personally, mm -hmm. you know, family-wise. We have a lot of similar friends. Yes. And we're just kind of going strong. I feel like when it comes to myself and, like, the group I surround myself with, we're mm -hmm. so focused and career-oriented. And that's important, yeah. yeah it's very so easy to get lost, like, in this you know, social media generation where, oh, you're famous, that's all that matters. Yeah. yeah. All right, you see, so how is it to my number? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Cannot. So in other words, yeah. they're actually official. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. that. But it's good. Like, yeah. be, dating someone who you've been with, I think my first yeah. boyfriend, I'd also known for like about eight years, like since like high school. And we actually got to a point where I was like, how come we've never dated? Yeah. So... We are happy for you. We love love here on Switch TV. We love love here on Chatspot. So mm -hmm. All the best to you too. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you guys. Oh. I don't know why you could have just dragged him back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 sure. He's watching now. Yeah, so. if, yeah, I know oh, he's, he's watching. watching. That's why I'm like, yo, brah. See, 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 you come over here. You. Ah, he's eh? been here like <laughs> twice, man. 
I'm like, oh, sir, no, we didn't. 2021, Mrs. Jamwana. We've not seen you in 2021. We need to see you before if he can. Kati kati amwaka. You know what I'm saying? Let us see. I got you. Please, yeah, drag him. We need the two of you here on set to tell us. Oh, the tea. Hey, you see, you are mad. Now we have, we have to like, you have made a promise with people. We have to keep it. So that is coming soon, right? I got you. You guys are my girls. I got you. We love to hear that. So maybe tell us some of the challenges that you face so far, like since you began. Actually, fun fact, Elodie started by singing and making a music video, right? <gasps> Embarrassing! <laughs> I was 15 and I'm there doing AO, AO just off key, but the video was dope. And the video was yeah. dope. Video was she, dope. She, she worked with Clarence Peters when uh -huh. she was 15, okay? That was dope. Yeah. But so what inspired that song and why did you just be like, okay, this is not it next? Yeah. I feel like everyone goes through the phase when they want to be like an A1 singer. That's true. Mm -hmm. I, I also wanted to, yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. So I think <laughs> I just happened to sing, right? mm -hmm. So you went through yours and you're like, nah, yeah. this is not it. <laughs> I just don't think I was because you know when you choose a career path, it's not just about the good. Yeah, you mm -hmm. have to be willing to go through the bad, the bad that that's exactly. what it brings. Yes. Yeah. And for me, I love presenting. Mm -hmm. I love mental health. That mm -hmm. just for me is my calling. You decided mm -hmm. to go with that instead. Yeah, but, but guys, like, we should drop uh -huh. our own video. We should be like a you know what band. I mean? Yeah, like, like, like you know, you guys, just ask this. Go look for a group name for us. Not even that. Yeah, uh, like you know, you are dating very, very can sing the. Ah, it makes sense. It makes sense. It drags you into a track. You know, we be like, you know, baby, I think we need to do something together. I'm I'm that you. pressure. I, I know you are right. Because right? you get my best studio? friend. Uh -huh. I mm -hmm. think maybe for fun, because my best friend also mm -hmm. is a musician. She mm -hmm. just came in from Australia, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and her and V just released a track. Mm -hmm. Like random friends or family members of mine are now recording mm -hmm. and really getting active, and mm -hmm. I'm just there like. <laughs> hey. But I'll come up with a TikTok dance for like Ooh, all the songs. That's like the nice. best I can do for now. For now, for now. now. But supporting you know, your friends, mm -hmm. supporting your friends. We're talking about exactly TikTok videos for them. That's what's up. If it ever comes down to it, you'll do it, right? Yeah. Oh, for sure. We Ooh, are looking for, for sure. there's so we'll much be here waiting for, for the love story because I'm sure that's how you're going to give us all the juice and the drama and everything else. I got but you. How, let me just ask this you know, sometimes um, relationships are made stronger when people, you know, go through something that's rough mm. and maybe something they weren't expecting and uh, always depending. I'm like, um, how was it like, you know, for you guys going through, you know, that uh, what did you call it? The Obare, what? Obare Mafia. <laughs> yeah, Obare Mafia. Oh, yeah. yeah. How did you, like, how was it how for you, you guys, you know, going through that? I think I've been mm -hmm. bashed online enough times yeah. for worse things. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I normally have such a strong support system. Mm -hmm. So whenever anything online is happening that may bring me down, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, are you okay? Data off. Yeah. Yeah. I tap out. I don't touch my phone for two, three days. I'm with what? my family. Well, I get two, out. three days, and I'll go maybe out with my family for a movie yeah. or chill with friends at their house yeah. or sleepovers, yeah. and just protect my energy, mm -hmm. my spirits, mm -hmm. my heart. Yeah. And then once the drama's died, now back you into the grind. Yeah. And you know, you know, give you more yeah. drama. No. Give you something to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you know, you're lucky that you have that option. Yeah. I, mean, I can imagine mm -hmm. going off the grid for two days. First of all, my producer would faint. You know what I mean? <laughs> I guess it's my Saturday boss would, like, and Sunday. Try and call my mother. You can go off big Saturday <laughs> exactly. and Sunday. No one will exactly. then be yeah. like looking for you anywhere. Yeah, that's true. Um, Yeah, so we're talking about like the challenges that you face so far. Of course, you've talked about the bullying and stuff. Is there anything else that you face? Any other challenges? I think I'm just very strong i'm very grateful actually mm -hmm. for the bullying that went on before i became yeah, before a brand here, online because yeah. mm -hmm. now my skin is so thick yes. my support system is so strong mm -hmm. yeah. you don't need a million friends you, you need don't. your two or three mm -hmm. you know mom dad guardian whatever yeah. whoever you feel close to yeah. mm -hmm. protect that mm -hmm. before anything else before your bank accounts before your social media yes. and through that i've just gotten very thick skin so oh, i'm not wow, i'm not awesome. scared at all oh my you know? god that's so amazing You're what so are we looking strong? at 2021 oh girl girl, girl. Like, you know, he's just getting stabbed girl. like you know ching 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 I was gonna say thick thighs, thick checks. Woo! Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my for sure <laughs> uh -huh. but like on the real I really want to dive more mm -hmm. into mental health yeah. I'm, I'm so serious about that and would the, you take like a psychology course I mean would? I've been studying so one of my friends okay. is in Canada in mm -hmm. university and mm -hmm. she studies psychology so yeah. she actually sends me her notes nice okay. like scans of her books yeah. and I actually just read through that and mm -hmm. kind of follow the syllabus the best way I can mm -hmm. um, but I need to do things that are more impactful. Mm -hmm. Of course, I don't want to talk too much about it. You want to yeah, be successful, hustle, help. then... Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So definitely, I want to dive into that more, mm -hmm. for sure. Okay, okay for sure. Much. And then, um, of course, you had the choice of either being here or in France. You d you did have this, that choice, right? Yeah, my so family. So why did you choose Kenya with, like, the whole KOT <laughs> and all the... Yeah, I mean, I've just yeah. ran away to France and be like, nobody knows me, <laughs> bye. Mm. Disappear off the bye. grid. Bye. Exactly. <laughs> um, I mean, France is home. My family is there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think I've just been very used to traveling back and forth between the two places. 
places. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to me settling down, mm -hmm. when it comes to having kids one yeah. day, a family, mm -hmm. I just love the community element that, that Kenya, Kenya has, has to yeah. offer. Yeah. Yeah. You can take your kids to your mom, sh go to see show show. Yeah, you it's leave a your community. Kids with your auntie, yeah. auntie yeah. and nana. Na, na. yeah. Whereas there, you, you're very isolated, and mm -hmm. I feel like it's very cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to some of the racism that I've experienced there, yeah. I don't want my kids growing up in that. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah actually, for you, you yeah. did experience racism. For me personally, no. Yeah. But uh -huh. when it comes down to my mom, of course, she's fully Kenyan. Yeah, she's fully Kenyan. Yeah. I did see a lot of that. I remember oh one incident, we literally walked into a store uh -huh. and of course now we split up. My mom's going to look for yeah. things, I'm going to look for mine. Mm -hmm. yeah. And one of the ladies that, that works at the store completely refused to serve my mom. <gasps> What? She's Why? like, excuse me, excuse me. And she'll just kind of glance and just ugh, get out in a store. That is wow. so rude. And I remember wanting to like fight or say something, but my French wasn't good. Like yeah, as we start so cussing her out in yeah. I'll cast out in Kiswahili. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I wish. That's so bad. Do you speak Swahili so, though? I understand I Swahili a hundred percent. Do I speaking? speak? Actually, I speak. The problem is my accent. Oh, your accent? Oh, People oh, laugh at my accent. So I'm like, "Nilikuwa ni nataka." Bari bari. It's a no. Uh -huh. And also, you've been so open about a lot of things, and I think you are so brave. I think one of the videos I found first of you is when you were talking about your weight, mm -hmm. and you are not afraid to tell people, "Hey, listen, I was this weight. I didn't like it, and yeah. I did something about it." Like, yeah. where? Where do you get that from? It just is what it is. As a woman, when uh -huh. it's the time of the month, when you're stressed, yeah, when yeah. you're in a relationship or leaving one, like our bodies just naturally fluctuate. Yeah, that's true. And I'm someone that's fluctuated between maybe a size eight and a twelve. Like mm -hmm. I'm constantly up and down the constantly. scale. Constantly. Even now. Even like now. Next month it could be. Even an now, eight. my pants don't even fit. <laughs> Are you serious? Why do you think I'm in some flowing? Get out. It's, but we're women, you know. So it you've just gone happens. from a ten to an eight. Is it the stress? The biggest. It's different things. Like I oh, remember okay. the biggest drop. I lost thirteen kg. <gasps> That's in like a half a year. What? When wow. I went to France and then came back and guys are like, what happened? I'm yeah, like, what did happen? I was just walking more. Like, right, it was yeah, you know people can walk around a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And Can it's you nothing. Hey, my friend, I love you. He's on my nini fumes from the cars. You can't do it. You can't do it. At least Europe, I know you can walk around very safely. Oh, yeah. my. Well, but I just like, talk, no one uh -huh. else is talking about it. Yeah, so I want to inspire teenage True. girls. We might as well be open about our skin, our bodies, our mental health. Don't be ashamed of it. Yeah, and I think we wouldn't make the mistakes that we personally and made as young adults if we had those conversations. You exactly. know what I mean? Yeah, like, exactly. I hated, age, like, I literally hated my body my entire teenagehood. And no one was there telling me, listen, you're beautiful. Mm -hmm. If someone told me that, then I'd have felt more confident. Because I've been in a whole different, different yeah. situation. Exactly. So, Elodie, sure. before mm -hmm. you close the show, um, maybe let people know your social media, YouTube, wherever you want them to go and check you out. For sure. So, guys, make sure you hit me up at Elodie Zone, all social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Make sure you also tune into Mental Mondays, which is my mental health series on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. Good vibes, good time, and just thank you, man for the support. Oh, I'm amazing. so grateful. Yeah. Oh, Thank you so stuff. much for stopping by. Yes. Keep the vibes good. Both show. And to now and Gojia, we are waiting for you. We are waiting for you. you, know, both, like, you both of you. Yeah, we need <laughs> yeah, the couple, together. a couple days. You will call it what, but your chai to nakunyo na couple. Let's, Let's go. We, gonna be, we are watching for you by that, you guys. You're we really people. are. Honestly. But anyway, guys, we've come to the end of the show. Kama K, we'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. 10.30 p.m. Kama kawaida watu wetu wa usiku. Watu wanapenda giza. Na joyote minye siwa na naga. Tuwana leyo masa. Otherwise, from us to you, bye-bye, keep it good vibes.